Hello, my beautiful Aquariuses. Welcome to your Love Forecast Horoscope for Will There Be Contact. I want to thank you guys so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing, and thank you to my members. I really appreciate all of your support. And if you guys would like a live person reading with me, go to my website, jenniferwalkerzen.com, or check out the description box below. Guys, I have a big announcement to make. Um, this is actually something that you guys have reached out to me about a lot and have asked me over the years. Have you, as you guys know, I've been on YouTube now for, what, over five years? But definitely I've gotten this request a lot. And so it's definitely something that has been, you know, something that I'm supposed to do. So um, I decided now um, that's the reason why I haven't really been posting too much on JWZ Mysteries is because... I have been working on a course. Um, it is going to be a mentorship um, certification course, and um, it's gonna be six weeks long, live classes. Um, I will be mentoring you guys. Um, if I'm gonna teach, then I'd rather do it where I know I could be more hands-on with you guys. So um, I'm gonna be starting the course October 15th, and I'm also going to, towards the end of the course, we're going to be you know, doing real li live client readings and stuff because you learn by doing. You're going to learn by doing. This tarot is something you have to do, you know, and you have to put it in your subconscious mind. But anyway, if you guys are interested in signing up for my class, I'm going to be keeping the schedule on the weekend, so don't worry about that. And if you miss any of the classes, you can always rewatch them. I'm going to be recording them all. So, um, and if you guys are interested, um, you can reach out to me at my website or you can sign up for my class in the link in the description box below. All right, so what are we going to be talking about today? All right, why, what's going on with the current situation with your person? Okay, what's happening with them? Why are they not contacting is the next question. Okay, we're going to ask what do they want to say to you? Okay, um, we're going to find out if there is going to be contact and some advice and when I'm asking this because I just got this in the comments so I just want to cover this I'm doing it for you you the person who's turning tuning into this message okay and your love interest so you can definitely feel free to cross watch you can check your Sun Moon rising sign because it's going to be for the sign of Aquarius you know so you can also check your Sun Moon rising sign for more information but the questions are for you, you the person who's turning into the video, and your love interest, okay? And this is your sign. Okay, so let's move into your reading. So if you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. You can do both. Let's jump right in. All right. So. Show me the cards I need. See? Show me the cards I need. See. All right, so I can see that your person is really wanting to put energy into this situation, okay? So because the Eight of Wands can represent, all right, let's talk about what it represents. It represents energy coming towards you, and it represents communication. This is our message card. This is our card of text message, Facebook message, okay? Phone calls. So let's just go to the next card and see what that's about. Oh my goodness. This is you, Aquarius. Um, you are coming off very sexy to this person, your person in the current. And they're noticing people notice you. And so as a result, they're definitely sending a lot of energy your way here in the current, or definitely wanting to communicate here. Because I get the sense that they feel like someone in particular is starting to get your attention, starting to snuggle up next to you there. And this person's like, no, Aquarius is mine. I do want to hold on to this person. I want to keep this person safe. Okay, uh, let's keep going. So there seems to be some work or effort being put into some kind of sense of independence, financial independence. Yeah, Eight of Pentacles again, talking about money, finance, and independence here. 
So it looks like that's the, the way they feel like they can get your attention to. Like we see this working situation. Because they're, they're realizing in the current, you guys are focusing on yourself right now. And they're starting to look over the details now of the situation. They're like, wow, okay. They're not paying attention to me. Why are they paying attention to me? Can't they see I'm still holding on to these things? Wanting to hold on to them? Okay, let's keep going. Your person seems like they want to bring something to light. They want to bring something to the surface here. Uh, to get some kind of shred of truth out of this situation and get an aha moment here about this, to crown this situation. They're letting you know I have this worry and this concern and stress. I don't know how to face this situation. And I want this worries and concerns to end. So you see at the bottom of the deck, they want to accomplish or complete something here. Let's bring it all together. I want to communicate with you. I see you as somebody who's very sexy, very attractive. I want to hold on to you and put the work into this situation. This isolation, this separation, this sense of independence, this selfishness. I want to work and put the effort and I want to find out something. I want to reveal something about my worries and concerns so this situation can end. I want to speak with you. I want to bring light to this situation. I want to give you some kind of clarity about this Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy. And this strong passion that they have. I want to make a choice. Because I have deep love for you with the King of Cups energy. I want to give you some kind of good news. I've really examined the situation and I realize there's a sense of happiness with you. I want to take charge of this. I want a victory here. I've been overanalyzing my actions. I've been coming forward slowly. I am concerned that we're going to argue and fight and so I'm waiting around to see how things play out and I'm waiting for the right time. Because of this money and this family situation, it has to be the right time. Because I'm at a crossroads about what to do. I want to give to the situation because I really do have strong chemistry and passion for you. And I want a relationship. I want this relationship. I feel like that we are well matched together, like a perfect match. And it's almost divinely guided. Okay, so... Let's see why they're not communicating. Why aren't they communicating then? Let's just take a look at this. Why isn't Aquarius' is love interest, the one they're here for, the one they want to know about, why isn't Aquarius' is love interest communicating with Aquarius? Show me the cards I need to see, the one they're out of communication with. The cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need. Two. Two. Wow, the Eight of Wands again. So the Eight of Wands is saying, let's bring all the cards down here. There's the central theme. Okay, so we see there's this communication and they're contemplating their emotions because of a relationship. They lack the courage, current, the courage and confidence here. We see this relationship and not knowing that there's going to be this potential for good news. The strong-willed individual is not sure how to take this action. I'm going to have to take control of this and I have regrets about things and I can't stop looking at what happened. I'm defensive. I've gotten some advice I want to get what I want. I'm doing some travel and I'm at a crossroads because this family situation, mother, I've been so naive about this potential opportunity. How do I have a victory? How can I be right? I keep thinking and planning of how to apologize to you. 
I know that there needs to be an equal give and take. I've been exploring some things here on how to make this decision because of this heartache and sadness. Let's just look at another deck as well. Why isn't Aquarius' this is love interest, the one they're here for, the one they want to know about, why isn't Aquarius' love interest contacting Aquarius? The one they're out of communication. Show me Aquarius, let me see. Show me the cards I need. Two. Let's see why. Confusion. Okay, that's lack of clarity. Because we did see in the current they had the Ace of Swords. Lack of confusion and clarity on the chemistry and the passion and the connection. When it comes to some kind of letter, message, or document. We saw that, lots of money work stuff going on there. Causing them stress and worry. Concerns about love or an offer of love. They don't know how to tell you or be honest with you about some kind of opportunity. And they're cautious and defensive. They need to maintain some type of control because they regret what happened and they don't know how to apologize. Okay, so what do they want to say to you? What do they want to say? Okay, so then what does Aquarius's love interest want to say to Aquarius? What does Aquarius's love interest want to say to the Aquarius? The one that they're out of communication. Show my cards with C, show my cards with C. Let's see his tarot as well. What does Aquarius's love interest want to say to Aquarius? What does Aquarius's love interest want to say to Aquarius? Show my cards with C. Some of the cards I need to see. Let's also look at this deck as well, Aquarius. What does Aquarius's love interest want to say to Aquarius? What does Aquarius's love interest want to say to Aquarius? Show my cards I need to see. Show my cards I need to see. Now let's start with the tarot and then work our way down here. Okay, so I'm overwhelmed. I'm burdened. Um, we see this Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. This Aries, Sagittarius, Leo energy. I'm obsessed. I have addictions. I can't stop thinking about you, and I want to make a choice. But I'm worried and concerned about taking any abrupt actions. And I lack the confidence. And I'm concerned about loss. I want to take actions here when the timing is right, when I feel like I have my own personal power over the situation because of the heartache and sadness. I don't know how to be honest with you and how to speak to you about this when it comes to the soulmate twin flame relationship. I want to talk with you, but I don't know if you're going to accept what I have to offer here and what I have to say because I want to make the best decision when it comes to love and romance because of feelings here. I see things from a new way and a new perspective, but I'm trapped in my thoughts, I'm trapped in my situation on how to communicate. I just want to flirt with you and I need to be really strategic in my actions here because of some kind of commitment, engagement, or marriage. I'm avoiding this. I'm confused about what to do. I feel like I do a lot of self-sabotage. I watch you from afar. I have been doing a lot of traveling. I want to talk to you about this traveling. I have been looking at your pictures. I do feel like you're my soulmate. I've been self-indulgent here towards my addictions. I really like to take a risk. But I know I got to make healthy choices, but I do want to renew this. I want to do this where I keep this hidden. I want to bring some things to light to you because I have feelings for you. But there's this infringing party. You have my heart. Yeah, see, I have my heart. I want to give you some kind of love offer and chase you. But I keep running. From your love, your kisses, until the timing is right. It's 
dark without you? Why is it that you love me? I don't want to be alone. Please do what's best for your heart. I wish to be like you. Why do I feel this why? You are too nice and I don't deserve your kindness. I need to hold back my true feelings for you. I can't talk to you right now. What do you see in me? How could you ever forgive the mess I've made? I can't handle your love. Life without you is hopeless, dark, and depressing. I miss your light. I just don't understand. Oh my goodness, there's some passionate desires there. Will this ever change? Okay. Lots of questioning going on with this person. Okay, um, let's find out why you're going through this. Why is Aquarius going through this right now with this person? What's the lesson around this? Why is Aquarius going through this right now? What's the lesson behind this with this person? Show me the cards you need to see. Show me the cards I need. Two, see. It's to help you learn how to manifest and to clear your energy and know that prayers will help with the situation, to work through your fears and to listen to your intuition and not to question divine timing, to follow your dreams and to accept the situation and to trust in the universe. So there's something you're supposed to be doing Aquarius right now. Sometimes things happen in connections where we lose contact with them because we're not doing something we're supposed to be doing and following our path. So I see there's something about your dreams and your path here that you should be focusing on right now and accepting the situation at this time and just trusting. You need to let go and focus on freedom and finding your direction. Ask for guidance. Your obstacles and blockages will be lifted. This is just a pause in the action. You're going to have success. Focus on forgiveness and listen to your intuition. Okay, so let's now see if there's going to be contact here. Let's do that now. Okay. Is Aquarius' love interest the one they're here for, the one they want to know, the one they're in communication with? Now, the timing is going to be whenever you guys come to this video, okay? So the timing will start from whatever the time is when you come to this video. Whenever you see this video, this is when the timing is, okay? And we're gonna time it for the next three months. So whenever you see this video, three months from now, okay? So Aquarius is love interest, the one they're here for, the one they wanna know about. Aquarius is love interest, gonna contact Aquarius in the next three months, the one that's communication. Positive card for yes, negative card for no. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Wow, Aquarius, yes. Positive cards. All positive cards, yes. It's gonna come in, they're gonna come in slow though, but the Nine of Pentacles energy. And it's because you're attracting them there with the Queen of Wands. And uh they want to gain some kind of control over the situation. There you go. You're coming off like the Empress. And it's like bringing them right to you. You see this apology, this reconciliation, the timing will be right towards a complete happiness energy. You see relationship, a commitment. So let's get some advice on what you should focus in on right now. Can I have some advice for Aquarius for the highest, best good, for the best possible outcome for them? What should they focus in on right now when it comes to their person? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Be creative. Focus on your creative side. Also, this is like the Empress again, by the way. She is a divine flower. What do I always tell you guys? Actually, I was given this message from Spirit about the Empress because of my own relationship situation. So what I was I told? I was told, be the Empress. Attract and understand that flowers don't chase bees. 
bees chase flowers. And I was literally giving an image at the time. I was given a gift for my birthday of a bee and a flower. Can you imagine that? That's how spirit works. I'm telling you guys, pay attention to those signs. But anyway, so it's saying, attract, magnetize, and then make that decision. Because this empress, she's patient. She is in her power. She knows her value. She knows her worth. She is a beautiful flower. She is, she is nectar, right? She is fertility, okay? So be in that power first before you make any decisions because you are your authority, Aquarius. You know what's best for you. You need to trust your instincts and follow your path because you are a good pathfinder. All of the resources that you need are right there. And again, this is a very, also another empress kind of energy, saying speak less and listen more. What it's saying is, listen to your intuition. When you take the time out and you enjoy the moment and you just listen more, believe it or not, people will have conversations with you about things and it'll give you answers. It does. If you're open to it, I'm telling you, I've experienced it. If you try that method, just listen to some of the things that people talk to you about, come to you about, talk to you about, bring to you, just sit back and listen. It's your intuition. It's your messages from the universe. A lot of this is about you right now, just trusting in your higher self and adapting to the situation and clearing your energy and focusing on forgiveness. When we forgive people, we forgive ourselves, even if we just think, okay, um, even if you're not completely ready, you're creating those pathways, right? Those pathways will remove the emotional trauma and the baggage when you just forgive. And I'm not speaking from something out of a book, but something that I, I learned from experience and something that I was called to do when I thought a, a situation was so impossible to forgive so impossible. In my situation, there was multiple people involved. So it was difficult for me. But when I decided, you know what? This is not hurting them. It's hurting me. Me dwelling on this stuff is hurting me. It's not hurting them. It's not giving them pain. It hurts me. So you know what? I know there's a bigger picture of this, right? There's, there's the bird flying in the sky. I know there's a bigger picture of this and it's okay to let it go. It's okay to forgive. You know what? It's okay. And when you finally do that, when you're ready to do that, it's going to feel so good with inside of you because you're just going to keep the wisdom and you're going to let go of the trauma that was attached to it. And you're going to be smarter for it. You're not going to make the same mistakes that you made before because you know better. You're going to become a king. You become the emperor. You're going to be in charge of who you are and your destiny. You have choices. You can follow your passions here. Gain your confidence. Build up your confidence. Okay, that's Empress as well. She knows her value and worth. She's also like the Queen of Wands, right? The Queen of Wands, like, I'm attracting. I'm a magnet. I attract. That is the feminine energy. It's attract the magnet. I attract things to me because I know my value and my worth. I'm like a precious diamond. I'm rare and I am deserving of that respect. And if you're not going to treat me like that, then I'm not going to accept this from you. It doesn't mean that you have to get in, involved in like toxic, you know, like, you know, situations with those people just you distance yourself and you say okay if you're not going to respect me and you're not going to give you my value and worth then I'm just not going to deal with you and you're going to see me less and less in your life because I know that I am deserving of something more more valuable to me so anyway as you guys always know I always tell you I'm only here as guidance right you guys know what's best for you and you have to know that you're safe at all times you're protected at all times Free yourself from any guilt or shame, okay? You don't have to make anything happen here. You can just enjoy the moment and go with the flow and just be happy. 
because you know Aquarius no one's gonna make you happy you're only gonna make yourself happy and you find those things that are gonna make you happy and before you know it you're just gonna feel comfortable with yourself and happy with yourself and at peace in yourself let me tell you something it doesn't matter what people do on the outside world this is all an inner journey and when we feel that peace within our heart and our soul no one can bother us no one can affect us so just know that okay my beautiful my beautiful souls my beautiful darlings listen to your heart follow your intuition and that's the song that's popping pop in my head listen to your heart when it's calling for you right that's the song that's pop, popping into my head for you guys I love you guys so much if you guys like it this way you want me to continue this way hit that like button let me know in the comments below my beautiful Aquariuses, I love hearing from you guys in the comments below. All right, so if this resonates, you want to claim this message, or you feel comfortable sharing your own personal situation with me, I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments below. And if you guys would like to take part of my mentorship classes coming up in October, I'm going to be taking a limited amount of people because I want to be very hands-on with you guys. And I want, I've been reading since I was 14 years old, so I'm going to definitely bring everything to the table guys okay we're covering a lot of different aspects of things okay so if you're interested all of the information is in the description box below i love you guys again so much i'll see you guys another day or two have a great rest of your next couple days and i will see you guys soon